All right, here we go. Question number 10 from our 1316 homework number eight in my lab math. Part A, find the dot product, V dot W, and then it says find the angle between V and W. State whether the vectors are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And so the first step is to write down these vectors. We've got the square root of 3i plus 3j. That's vector v. Vector w is, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in the coefficients, that's 1i plus 1j. And you need to know when it says find the dot product, product means stack them. You want to stack these vectors one on top of the other because in order to find the dot product, what you need to do is multiply the a's together. The coefficients of i get multiplied. Square root of 3 times 1 is square root of 3. And the b's get multiplied. The coefficients of j get multiplied. 3 times 1 is 3, positive 3. And then those numbers get added. Now, since you cannot add square root of 3 plus 3, and we want to leave this exact, we're going to stop there. That would be the exact answer in simplest radical form. And if I put that into my lab math, please remember to move out from under the square root when you put the plus 3. Now, in order to find the angle between the two vectors, we're going to need a formula. And that formula is the inverse cosine of the dot product divided by the magnitudes multiplied. I've already got the dot product. What I need is the magnitude. So we're going to back this train up. And we're going to find the magnitude of V first. That's going to be the square root of A squared, which would be the square root of 3 squared, plus B squared, which would be 3 squared. And that's going to simplify to 3 plus 9, which is the square root of 12. Now listen, you can break that down if you want to. I'm going to leave it as square root of 12 since I'm going to have to multiply it out anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that square root of 12. And then I'm going to go find the magnitude of W. That's going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, which will be the square root of 2. And again, I'm going to leave that square root of 2 since he's going to get plugged in and worked with down here. And now we should be able to find our angle theta. Theta, that's going to be the inverse cosine of the dot product, which was the square root of 3 plus 3, divided by the magnitudes multiplied. So that would be the square root of 12 times the square root of 2. And thank goodness for the calculator. The calculator is going to make this super easy. Do I want the angle in degrees or radians? They want it in degrees. So I need to be in degree mode. Inverse cosine of square root of 3 plus 3. That's the numerator. And in the denominator, we have square root of 12 times the square root of 2. Close that off. That looks good. Oh, look at that. It's a whole number. Cool. So the angle's 15 degrees. Bam. Now, listen, before I plug that in to my lab math and check it, I want to do a quick check visually to see if I'm on the right track. Here's how you can do that. If I graph vector v, square root of 3 is about 1.7. So that's going to go over about 1.7 and up 3. 
And so here's what vector V would look like if I draw it in blue. And then vector W is going to go over 1, up 1, which is about here. And if you look at that, you're going to see that the angle between those two vectors is very small. So I feel good about my 15 degrees. It should be a really small angle. Now, did we get a dot product of zero? If not, then it can't be orthogonal. Is the angle between them zero or 180? If not, then it can't be parallel, so these are going to be neither. And we're done. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.